Welcome to Ghetto Kogan, a beautifully underrated ski resort located in the Iwate Prefecture of Japan. After just under an hour on a free shuttle bus from Kitakami, you'll find yourself at the doorstep to the resort. And don't worry about which organs you'll have to sacrifice to pay for a lift ticket because they're cheap as chips here. They have two gondolas and three chairlifts with some absolutely awesome terrain. Their specialty is tree runs with five different zones, beach, stream, rabbit, summit and shooter. Ghetto Kogan averages 15 metres of snowfall a season. Yeah. And in March you can expect around four. So that's one metre of snow a week. It's only February now and there's already more snow than Australian resorts could dream of in a year's season, so I'll keep you updated. The cafeteria is nuts. It has a jumping castle for the kids and heaps of ramen. You'll be staying in these compact little bunk beds. Little is actually the wrong word because they're the most spacious bunk beds I've ever seen. They have a light and a PowerPoint, so don't forget the right adapter like I originally did. There's also a hook to, you know, hang shit up and be an adult. And uh, dinner is awesome. The buffet hosts a wide range of food for you to eat, including fish. So you've skied, eaten lunch, had dinner, and now your day is done. Well, actually, incorrect. Let me introduce you to the Japanese hot spring baths, or onsen. You start off with these little shower stations. Forget all your stuff? Don't worry, because Ghetto Kogan has hooked you the fuck up. Once you're clean, you move on to the onsen. The onsen is pretty dope. There's an indoor one and an outdoor one with views all the way down to the town of Kitakami and some nice mountain views all around. You know when you get out of a really hot bath and you're like, wow, I actually can't function right now because you're so relaxed? Well, they have a room for that. Have you ever heard of a relaxation room? You kind of have to whisper because you don't want to disturb anyone, but it is amazing, by far my favorite place in this whole resort. There's also heaps of manga and magazines, and sometimes they play jazz through the speakers just to really set the mood. And then when all of that is done, you get to wake up and have first tracks in this land of sushi and magic. So yeah, welcome to Ghetto Kogan. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by.